YouTubers. This it won't crack. And uh, <clears throat> it had been sitting for six months or something. So I've got to figure out what's wrong with it and fix it. Um, now, I don't use regular gas. Um, I believe actually there's AV100 in here. So my fuel system has not been damaged by fuel. Uh, and this is, I believe there's two things wrong with it, or, or the, the things that are keeping it from cranking are related. Now, the, I don't think that the, the, uh, cylinder's getting any, any fuel. And, uh, because it won't crank, and when I take the spark plug out, throw some fuel in there, and put the spark plug back on, uh, and it'll it'll uh, it'll fire. Uh, won't crank, but it'll fire. Um, I put on my spark tester, and spark was hot. I don't remember, but I believe I had to change the coil and I put a OEM on it. So that's that revealed a problem. Is when it would fire, it would yank the cord slap out of my hands. Want to just pull my arm off. So there's no way you could pull it um, when the conditions were right. And so I'd hold down the decomp and I could like get three pulls before the gas that I poured down the throat ran out. And each, and, and without doing that, without holding that down, you, you it, it still wouldn't crank, but it would just want to jerk it right out of my arm. So, I think we've learned that the carburetor, maybe from sitting, has got hung. I know my filter was clean. Uh... So, what I'll do is I'll do a pressure test, just, just because. Uh, that'll also allow me to make sure that my impulse, there's, there's no, no problem with that. And I'll vi visually look at the <clears throat> flywheel position. And if I can reasonably believe for certain that it's in the right place, um, or I just may pull the flywheel just to be sure and check that key and see if it's been sheared because just even a little bit will mess it up. Um, so I'll do a video on that. But I thought that um, if you got any suggestions or anything, you can let me know before I get started. Uh, I'll do it soon. Uh, we'll go from there. Because the w why I was going to use this one is uh, I'd got a hard nose bar. Um, I've got some stumps that I want to cut clean off with the ground. I've got a handful of them and uh, I, I've got some carbide chain and we're going to use it with the hard nose and 
and just you know do what I could to get them as close to the ground and not worry about hitting the dirt so that's why I grabbed this thing or it would have still been sitting I mean I can only hold so many saws at once <clears throat> but that's the goal and uh, the weather here in North Carolina has been odd uh, we've gotten a lot of sun and the rain has just been periodic just enough to keep a burn ban from being enforced alright well talk to you soon YouTube